Hi everyone! So in this week's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I give my newborn baby a bath. She is just 11 days old and this is my second baby. With my first baby, I was so nervous to give him a bath on my own, but I feel like I got it down this time, so I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. With newborn babies, I find that it's a bit tricky to find the perfect time to give them a bath because they are either eating or sleeping or they want to eat. Um, but it is a pretty quick process and there is no really perfect time to do it. You can do it anytime they are awake. So this could be right when they wake up even if they're a bit hungry or it could be in the middle of a feeding um, when they're taking a break and burping or right after a feeding right before they fall asleep or in the rare occasions when they are awake and content. Right now I just fed her not too long ago and she is sleeping so I'm gonna put her down in her bassinet and I'm going to show you my setup. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and The Focus Journal. For inspiring content and tips from a tidy working mom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. Hello, so I am in the shared newborn and toddler room right now. I have a whole video about it if you want to check it out. Uh, so this is the changing table and this is where I am keeping the bathtub right now. It is the Skip Hop three-stage bathtub and I've also used it with my son. So uh, it's a really good one that I highly recommend. It looks like this. Um, it's really nice because it has a little seat in it so the baby doesn't slip and I just take it to the kitchen and put it right on the counter like that and I turn it around and then I close this thing so that the water doesn't leak and then I fill it like just like this And then I just wait until it is to right about here. Uh, so I don't fill it too much so that the baby doesn't, you know, slip and drown. Uh, just enough so it covers her bottom. So while the bathtub is filling up, I get all the other stuff ready that I need. A couple of washcloths, the baby shampoo, and a towel. And that's all I really need. Then I check the temperature. This is a bit too hot. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the water and I'm just gonna let it cool a bit because she's still asleep anyway. And uh, I think up to this level is, is okay. She is starting to wake up, but she's not super cranky yet. So I think this is a good time to bathe her right now. And then I'll feed her right after. Oh. The water got a little bit cold, so I'm gonna refill it. Hello! <laughs> Alright, so she is awake, but she is not super hungry yet, so this is a good time to give her a bath. Um, over here I have a towel ready and I have a little cup that is flexible and the shampoo and a couple of washcloths so I already undressed her so that it's quicker and I'm gonna just remove her diaper oh, that's a full diaper Hi everyone, so I just have to interrupt the video for a second because as I was watching a cut of the video, I realized that I was using the bathtub completely wrong. Basically, this bathtub uh, has three stages and it was set at the stage two setting and after two years of not using it, I didn't realize that there was an easier way to do things. So you'll see in the video that I am trying to hold the baby and it looks like a lot of effort and it's because she was on the stage two setting and it's meant for babies that can sit up more on their own. So I will show you on here what stage one looks like versus stage two. 
So this is what the bathtub looked like in the video with the hooks on this level right here and the baby I was trying to hold her up and it was a lot of effort but as you can see there are a couple of holes right here so if you just um, place the hooks in here instead the seat becomes more like a hammock uh, and the baby can be lying down so you don't have to uh, hold her up and it's much easier that way so yeah now back to the video Multitask, give her a bath and film at the same time. Hello, so there she is, all clean and fed and happy, right? And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that with my little boy, I would put a washcloth on his tummy as well uh, to cover his penis so that he doesn't pee on me. Um, but yeah, with the baby girl, you don't really need to do that. And another thing I wanted to mention is this product right here. This product, um, BB Love, is the electric nail file. It's really good, especially for newborns, so you don't accidentally cut their skin when trimming their nails. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my other ones. I will see you in the next one.